My name is Paul Samini, and in this tutorial, we will be using iMovie. First, we'll be talking about using a green screen background. We'll go from turning this green background into the background of your choice. Then, we'll focus on the picture-in-picture -picture function. The picture-in-picture -picture function can be used for a variety of music activities. The picture-in-picture -picture function could be used for icons to specific songs. Maybe you want to use it for lyrics to certain songs. You can use it to practice melodic content. Or you could even use it to practice rhythm flashcards and rhythmic content. Or maybe you'll decide to use rhythmic building blocks. In this video, I chose to use different cat names to practice specific rhythms. And once you get really familiar with picture in picture, you'll be doing things like this in no time. But let's start simple. Before you start recording your video, you're going to want to set up your green screen. You could use a variety of materials. I chose to get a fabric from a fabric store. You could also use construction paper, poster board, or even a cheap plastic tablecloth from a dollar store. Next, open iMovie and click this upload icon. You're going to click FaceTime HD camera, and then it's time to record your video. When you're done recording, close the window, and you should see that it's saved to My Media. Next, you're going to want to find the icons that you're going to be using in your video. I chose to use There Was a Man and He Was Mad, so I have icons that go with that song. I also decided to add my wallpaper or my background with these icons so I can use it in my video. To use your background, click it and drag it onto your video. If you find this icon, you can find you can use a green or blue screen function. But unfortunately, it's not doing anything. That's because you have to have the background on the bottom of whatever you're trying to use the green and blue screen on. So delete those files, drag the background on first, and then your video on next. If you use the green and blue screen function again, you should find that it works. When you play your video back, I'm noticing that my background is moving and getting smaller. So I'm going to fix that by going right here, clicking fit, and it should solve the problem. I really don't start singing until I get to about this point. So that's where I'm going to edit my video, drag that to the beginning. And so I can see my whole video, I'm going to click this kind of ruler icon so I can see it. Drag that background so it lasts the whole video. And then find where your ending point is in your video so you can make sure you cover the whole video there. So I stop singing about there, that's where I want to end my video. So that's also where I'll end my wallpaper. And for added effect, you can make a little fade out by clicking uh, this little picture, this little arrow right here and dragging it and allow you to fade out like that. Unfortunately, iMovie won't let you add the icons at this point because you're only allowed up to two layers. So you're going to have to save the video by going to File, Share, and File again. By clicking Next, it should save the video. And once it's done being downloaded, it's going to take longer than that. You're going to find that video, import it, and now you can see I have the video with the wallpaper all saved as one thing. I can delete everything I've done up to this point and use this video from now on to edit. Now let's add some of our icons. I chose the song, There Was a Man and He Was Mad. So I have a picture of a man who was mad. I want to try to find exactly where I sing those words, and I want to place that picture right above where I'm singing it. But I can't see my face, so I'm going to fix that by going up here, and this is the picture-in-picture -picture function. So now I can see myself, but I can't quite see the man that's mad all the way. So by doing this, I click here, and I click the Fit tab. That'll allow me to see the whole icon, and I can change the size if I want make it bigger, smaller, drag it around the screen. Now when I play the video back, there's the man, he pops up right when I sing those words. You might have to do a little bit of editing, you might have to make it a little longer so it lines up with your voice 
and your words. You don't want to really have any gaps between your icons. You want it to make sense. You want to line it up exactly where those words are in your song. Next, I grab my next icon. I continue the process. I find where I sing those words. I edit it. I make it longer or shorter, depending on what I need to do. I go back up here and I click the picture in picture function. In order to see that picture all the way, I click this icon again, click fit, change the size, put it where I like. And you continue this process until all of your icons are in your song. And after a while, you'll have a little video that looks like this with all your icons above. And at this point, you're just double checking to make sure everything is working. Then you'll click File and you'll save it. And you'll have a finished product. Let's take a look. There was a man and he was mad. So he jumped into a paper bag. The paper bag was also thin. So he jumped onto the tip of a pin. The tip of the pin was very, very sharp. So he jumped onto an Irish harp. The Irish harp was oh so pretty. Then he jumped onto the back of a kitty. Then that little kitty began to scratch. So he jumped into a cabbage patch. The cabbage patch was oh so big that he jumped onto the back of a pig. Then that little pig began to tickle. So he jumped onto a big dill pickle. The big dill pickle was oh so sour that he jumped into a big sunflower. Then along came a bee and stung him on the chin, and that was the end of him. I wonder if this time you can help me fill in some of the missing words. There was a man and he was mad, so he jumped into a paper. The paper bag was oh so thin. So he jumped onto the tip of a... The tip of the pin was very, very sharp. Then he jumped onto an Irish. The Irish harp was oh so pretty. So he jumped onto the back of a... And then that kitty began to scratch. So he jumped into a cabbage. The cabbage patch was oh so big. Then he jumped onto the back of a... Then that little pig began to tickle. And he jumped onto a big dill. The big dill pickle was oh so sour, and he jumped onto a big sun. Then along came a bee and stung him on the chin, and that was the end of.